What women crave in men has gone way beyond social status, money, or looks. There are deeper qualities that truly draws women in. Yet, so many men miss this. In this video, I'm breaking down the things that all women desire but rarely talk about. Let's dive in. First off, every woman wants an unnaive man. A man who is aware of the world and able to handle complex situations with insight and confidence. Believe it or not, most women crave for a man that they cannot manipulate. So if you're agreeing to everything, everything is a yes for you, yes baby, yes, it's not as if it's bad, but truly in her heart, she wants you to question some things, she wants you to double check some things. She wants you to be able to see the threat in her if there are any. Because the truth of the matter is, if you cannot see the threat in her, then it means that you cannot see the threat outside, and it means that any other person out there can manipulate you. You know, it's so funny that a woman wants a man that she cannot manipulate, man which she no fit control, yet she acts always as if she wants to control the man, but truly she doesn't want a man that she can control. Because if she fit control you, push you around here and there, it means that every other dick and Harry out there will be able to do the same. Especially when you're married and you have children, if you're not able to detect the threat at home, then how will you be able to protect her out there? In other words, she no wants man will be mumu, you know? Maybe say everything, yes, yes, everything, yes, baby, I get it. You're in love, you like this woman and every, every, but it doesn't mean that you have to agree to everything. Women love challenge. If you cannot challenge her, then you might not be able to get her in that place where you want her to be. Take this from me. Women love challenge. She doesn't want someone who is always everything I yes, everything I no. Sometimes look at it, see in between the line and check things, double check, triple check if you have to. Don't just be naive. Women are more sensitive to negative emotions than men. It's not necessarily a bad thing. And that is why I think that women are natural threat detectors. You know, let me use myself for example. Before I got married and had a child, if I'm tired on a typical day that I'm tired, once I lay on my bed, I can sleep from night till morning. No question about that. But you see, from the first day a baby was handed to me, I don't think there is one night that I have slept all through without waking up like countless of times. Once I hear a sound, I'm awake checking on the children, checking on this, checking on that. In fact, if you're as little as breeze on my skin, I don't wake up because now you know that there is this small human being that depends on you for feeding, for, you know, just to nurture it and take care of it. So naturally for women who have put to bed, they just become this hypersensitive to negative emotion and they become threat detectors. So she wants to know that you are able to detect threats. Secondly, women crave emotionally regulated men. I mean, a man who is able to handle his emotions and keep them under the check. Do you know why that is? We women are like a bag of emotion. I like to say that our emotions are all over the place. Sometimes we're happy, other times we're excited, sometimes we're moody, other times we're angry. And even we say sometimes, we may even know what they do us, you get. So our emotions is like all over the place. So we want a man who can regulate his emotion. You shouldn't be someone who when you get angry, you just become so hysterical. Nobody can console you, nobody can control you, all of that stuff. So if you're able to handle your emotions around her, around the family, when you go out and this doesn't necessarily have to do with married couple even when you're dating i mean situations would arise where you would have to show some type of emotions but if you're able to control that it's something that every woman look out for in a man i mean every sensible woman thirdly a woman wants a man who is considerate you know this word considerate encompasses a whole lot like when it comes to communication for example you should be able to be considerate you know how it is with us we're always sometimes blabbing and talking and you know i understand men are action oriented solution oriented fixers by nature i think you're created and you're just <laughs> trained and wired to be fixers and provide solutions and you know all of that thing that men do and it's fantastic but sometimes you just want a listening ear not solutions 
So if you're the type that maybe your wife is just talking, I understand. Maybe you're trying to think and trying to look for what to do, what not to do. And then she's just talking and talking. And you find yourself being at that point where you're like lashing out on her and saying things like, I beg, you don't do. You two talk. Wait till you have Now what? You know, that's not being considerate. This is not to school you or anything, but I'm just telling you the things that women truly desire in a man. And if you check, these things are not even money. I'm not talking about money or status or you have to be Barack Obama or anything. I'm talking about these are the like qualities that women truly admire in men. So your ability to be considerate, especially in the area of communication. Maybe she has gone out and she had a terrible day and she's just trying to empty her heart to you. Sometimes what she wants is just a listening ear. Just listen. Try and suppress the urge to come up with solutions and try to be the fixer that you are and all of that. There are situations that require solutions immediately, no doubt about that. But there are times that we just want you to listen, pull us close and, you know, just a pat on the back. It's going to solve all of our problem at that time. So be a listening ear, be considerate. None of this point is centered on money, social status, and looks. It's not as if those things are not important. I mean, you have to take care of your physical appearance because I believe that this is something that the average man knows. You shouldn't be told to take care of yourself, look good, and smell good. You should know that is the starting point. Now, number one thing be that you get. <laughs> and then, of course, it doesn't matter how you look. As long as you look presentable, you take care of yourself and you're confident. And it doesn't matter what kind of status you have. But these qualities, these things I'm talking about here, these are things that even if you have the right status, the money, the looks, and you lack in all of these things, it's like a drawback. Like I said, especially when you're being naive. That you love a woman, you care for her, you don't want to hurt her feelings doesn't mean that you have to act naive around her or maybe you're just outrightly being naive. Because at the end of the day, that thing you're trying to protect is going to like elude you. You get because she'll be pissed off at that. She doesn't like it. I'm telling you, most women don't like a man who is naive. You know, even if you don't pick any other thing out of this point, you see that number one, naive. Women don't like her. You should know what you're doing. You should see between the lines. Recently, I was in this um, small occasion and I just couldn't help it but notice this guy who was on his phone. He was just scrolling and laughing away. I can tell you that till this guy left that place, he doesn't even know the people that came in. He wasn't really in that space, occupying that space. He was just there. We could see him, but honestly, you know, they there. So... There's nothing wrong with scrolling on your phone and, I mean, doing whatever you want to do, but wherever you find yourself, occupy space. Be in that moment. Feel the moment. Look at the people around. See in between the lines. And this doesn't mean that you have to become petty. No. Nobody is saying you have to become petty. This is like you trying to up your game. Like, you know, shine your eye. <laughs> It is important, right? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comment. And if you know if you agree with me, still let me know in the comment. Drop it in the comment. I'll go through all of that. And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Wendy Zill. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, I believe you like this one on the screen. I'll see you there.